In this video, I will teach how to make smoke puffs in Blender. As always, it is going to be quick and easy, so uh, let's get started. Okay, so start off by pressing S, then set to scale the cube on the Z axis. And then go to Object, Quick Effects, and then Quick Smoke. And then select the domain and press S to scale. And press S, then set to scale it on the Z axis. And then you can select the uh, initial object, go into the physics settings, and then we're going to keyframe the flow behavior of the object. So press I to keyframe. And let's go one frame forward. And then change it to geometry. And then press I to keyframe. And by changing it to geometry, it stops emitting smoke. And then we can go a few frames forward. And then once again, press I to keyframe. And then in the next frame, we can set it to inflow. And that way, the object is going to emit some smoke into the domain once again. And then we can go into the uh, graph editor. And then we're going to loop the animation so that it emits smoke multiple times. So, uh, you can press I to keyframe once again. And then we're going to duplicate these keyframes. So uh, right click drag to select. And then press Shift D to duplicate. And then you can press X to move it on the X axis. And then you can press Shift R to repeat the previous actions. And that way you can get multiple puffs into the domain. Next, we can select the domain and set up the simulation settings. So let's start off with a resolution of 100. And uh, I'm only going to bake the first 30 frames. And then bake all. And once the bake is done, you can see that we still need some additional steps before we get the actual puffs. So the next step will be to use some wind to move the smoke. So press Shift A and then add wind, press S to scale, then G then set to grab it on the Z axis. And then let's set the strength to 4000, for example. And then set the initial velocity for the inflow object to two, for example. And then let's uh, bake the simulation once again. And then after a few minutes of baking, you can see that we now get the puffs. Now, to add some variation to the smoke puffs, we can add some turbulence to the scene. So uh, let's press Shift A, force field, and then turbulence. And then you can increase the strength, set it to 1200, for example, and add some noise as well. And then select the domain, and then we need to bake the simulation once again. And then after a few minutes of baking, we now have the puffs with some random variation as well. And then we can turn the light into a sun, switch to cycles for better shading. And then you can also select the domain and make the smoke thicker if you want to.